I think tonight's perfect for a short one. I've had a lot of people talking up here. Um, this one I've been wanting to do for a while, but I couldn't find enough information to make it a full speech. Um, so I dug deeper and found more. It takes place January 28, 1920, when a, uh, a logging train was coming from Deep Creek to Boring, when three shots were fired at it. And the article that I found that in didn't have any information of who did it or why. And so I'll tell you first what the information it did have. Um, the first bullet lodged into the train. The second one hit a guy in his hip pocket, but didn't hurt him. But the sheriff, when he came out um, and talked to him, he said that the guy was so freaked out they couldn't get any usable information from him. <laughs> and the third bullet went into the shoulder of a guy named Joe Irvin. He had to go to the Gresham Sanatorium to get his wounds taken care of. And that's where I stuck for a long time. I couldn't find out why was someone shooting at this train and boring. And so I kept searching the newspaper archives until I finally found an article that I didn't find because it didn't have the word train in the title. It said, um, boy, a boy, boy held for shooting. And what it was was this boy named Ree McManus who was out with his new 22 caliber rifle out in the woods and he saw a squirrel. And he shot three times at it. Um, yes, sir. Didn't know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Claimed he didn't, didn't know about the train. He went home, put his gun away, um, did some chores, and then people came around asking him um, if he'd seen anything, if he knew about it. So he must talk to his father because his father took him to the sheriff's office the next day. And he told him the story about the chip with uh, the squirrel. One article said chipmunk, one article said squirrel. Um, but they told him about that, and he did admit that he did see the train slow down a couple hundred yards later, but he thought nothing of it. And that is about all there was. So I'll finish with um, Joe Irving um, recovered, no problems. And the kid had to go in front of a judge, and he was able to get a report from the superintendent of the school saying that he was a good student, good conduct, and the judge said, it seems like it was an accident, so he let him go. So there was, um, I'll finish with, um, so there was a train, there is a train story about boring with guns involved, but it's not like a masked gunman or a train robbery. <laughs> it's just a boy shooting that squirrel. And that's your moment of boring history.